Let's talk about how to find velocity and pressure at the cell centers. We start with the mathematical model, which is a boundary value problem, differential equations plus boundary conditions. And we derive a system of algebraic equations in the cell center values from that. In our particular example, we have 36 unknown values, so we would have to generate 36 algebraic equations. And these equations are generated by performing a control volume balance for each cell. So you do a control volume balance for mass and for momentum. And we will take a look at the details of that in a little bit. Each algebraic equation will, will relate a cell center value to its neighbors. So if I go to our particular problem, let's say, you know, we're looking at the algebraic equation for this cell, that those algebraic equations will, you know, involve these this val values at this cell center and the values at this cell center, typically. It will not involve values at, you know, um, cells such as these, which are uh, not its immediate neighbors. And we can solve the system of algebraic equations. We can invert it on the computer to get the cell center values for u, v, p. In our particular case, you would have to invert a system of 36, you know, algebraic equations. Engineers are now doing problems with a billion unknown values, so you're inverting, you know, a billion algebraic equations. And uh, if you have a fast enough computer um, in today's world, you can do that and a, and a good solver. Everything else is extracted from those cell center values for UVP, for instance, the pressure field, um, the velocity field, wall shear, etc., and you do that through the process called post-processing. So that's kind of the framework um, of the, you know, how you find the velocity and pressure of the cell centers and derive everything else you want to know from that. Students ask me, how is this framework different from the finite element method? The main difference is how you derive the system of algebraic equations. In the finite element method, you don't do this using the control volume balance. Um, you do it in a different way by going through, um, going to the weighted integral form and using polynomial interpolations. Here and also uh, the other difference is that, you know, where we are calculating the unknowns in, in our particular flavor of the finite volume method, we are calculating the unknowns at the, at the cell centers. In the finite element method, you typically do it at the nodes, which can be the corners and also the mid sides. Um, but that's a relatively smaller difference compared to how you derive this, uh, the system of algebraic equations. So the heart of the method is, in fact, this step. Um, and let's take a look at that next.